Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, I have a new build here. This is the Flyfish RC Volador VX5. That's the VX5. Um, here's the frame kit. Uh, yeah, it comes with a like a blow up manual. Um, I use the online manual instead because this was kind of hard to see which screws are which. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. Regarding the build itself, uh, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, just go ahead and follow the YouTube um, Fly Fish RC uh, manual, and it should, yeah, this should be the online tutorial. It should be yeah, pretty self-explanatory. They go through everything um, from like the parts bag. Um, I mean, the bag for the screws and the screw sizes and all of that. So um, yeah, it's pretty good tutorial. Uh, so I'm running the, um, let's see, before I get to that, um, you'll notice I didn't run the, the uh, battery plug um, mount. Um, I had some bad experiences with that type of style on the Aroma F35. Uh, basically, uh, when, you know, you, you crash or something and your props get a little wacky, and if you just fly with um, kind of like not so great props and uh, certain battery plugs, depending on um, yeah, the wear, I guess. What I noticed is uh, it unplugs, it, um, it just unplugs due to the vibration. So that happened to me about five times on that quad. And I finally just, yeah, decided to not to do that no more. Run it like that. Um, so, yeah. If you want to do that, you're going to have to get some washers and put it on top of the standoffs. Um, it's about a two millimeter um, gap. So because the um, the plug, the way it's, uh, it mounts, it uses that space. So it just all like sandwiches in. But if you don't use it, then you have to somewhat fill it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh. I don't know. I didn't mount the Vista directly on the, the frame. Um, you can. I put uh, some nuts and then uh, rubber O-rings and then I just put the Vista on top just to get a little bit more cushion. Um, going to the stack. So I'm running this GetBarC. It's an older stack. GetBarC Span F405 HD stack. Uh, there you go. Um, it's a 30 by 30, 50 amp stack. Uh, the motors, I'm running these older Emax motors. They're the 2207, and these are the 2400 KV. 2207, flight spec Emax motors. I have a Cadex Vista. I'm running the Vista system with the... Uh, DJI camera. Um, I decided not to use my O3 on this build since um, there's a lot of prop in view because it is a true X. I mean a squashed, squashed X, I should say. Um, so I just, yeah. And also this is going to be my, kind of my, my daily five incher. So it'll probably get a little bit beat up. So I didn't want to damage the, um, the new O3 air unit. Um, I'm running Crossfire, the mortar T's in the back, the Crossfire RX is on top of the Vista, mm -mm -mm, the props. I'm running, I, for all my 5 inch quads I just run these Epix S5 props, um, I don't know, they work good, mm. so I like them, so I just stick with them. Um, this antenna, this is actually, this air unit is actually from my uh, GetBarC Roma uh, Mark V. I mean, I'm sorry, GetBarC Mark V. Um, and basically, this antenna came with that quad, so and it fits perfectly in this 3D mount. So I just went ahead and put it in here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll take a... I'll take it out on a flight and yeah, I'll let you know how it flies. Thank you for watching.